Hi guys! It's almost Christmas, we are in the last days of the year and while other countries like the US, Canada, the UK are getting ready for the Christmas celebrations, Mexico has already started. That's right, Mexico started the Christmas celebrations on December the 12th. And the Christmas celebrations don't end in December 25th. Actually, we stopped celebrating the Christmas celebrations in, on January 6th. Yeah, we celebrate a lot. During these times, we are partying, we are eating, we are drinking. But why do we celebrate for a long period of time? What's the reason? Well, stick around because in this video I'm going to mention some points that we do in Mexico and the reason of why we celebrate a lot in Mexico. Everything starts on the 12th of December. If you are in Mexico, you already know. This celebration doesn't help the light sleepers either. On the 12th of December, at 12 a.m. in the morning, there are tons of fireworks celebrating La Virgen Maria, the Virgin Mary. It's a religious feast where Mexican pilgrims from all over the country travel to La Basilica de Guadalupe, right in the center of Mexico. It's an enormous and beautiful church where you'll find the Virgin Mary. Millions of people come here on this date because, according to the Catholic tradition, the Virgin Mary appeared to an indigenous man a few years later after the Spanish conquered. She asked him to build a church here, and now a lot of people from all over Mexico and Latin America as well come here on this day to celebrate. This is the beginning of all the celebrations that are about to start in December. Then everything gets more exciting on December 16 when there's a party every day with traditional food, music, dance, and piñatas. But why do we do it? It's clear we Mexicans like parties. There's no doubt about that. But of course, there's a meaning behind this. On December 16, the posadas start. These are a series of processions where both children and adults participate. Each night, children and adults pass from door to door in your neighborhood, in your house, singing a song, asking if there's a room in your house or in your inn. This is a recreation of Mary and Joseph looking for an inn on their journey from Nazareth to Bethlehem. The traditions in Mexico last nine days and they end on Christmas Eve. I know these celebrations are also celebrated in other countries in Central America, but let me know if you do something similar in your country. In Mexico, it's very common to see the neighborhoods organize a posada and they end up in a different house every day. At the end, they are finally invited at the last house and they celebrate with a lot of food, drinks, piñatas. It's a huge party, basically. It's a lot of fun for the kids, too. I was expecting a posada in my neighborhood, but that didn't happen. What happened? Are we losing this tradition or what? Even though posadas started as a religious thing, nowadays posadas are celebrated in very social and different groups, like in an office, with friends, family. It's just another excuse to have another party, to eat and drink. Another thing that you'll see in a Mexican home on public places like plazas, for example, is nacimientos or nativity scenes. Nacimientos are a huge thing here in Mexico. Like this plaza, for example, there's an enormous nacimiento here. Look! Of course, this is quite normal for me, but it can be very, very interesting for a lot of people coming from other countries. We all know the term separation of church and state, and in some countries, this might not be a common thing to see in the main public spaces in a city. In Mexico, this isn't the case. There is no bright line rule against nativity scenes on public spaces or actually any kind of religious thing. If you are visiting Mexico on Christmas, 
you have to come to a market. For example, today I'm in the market, Mercado La Cruz, here in Querétaro, and it's so interesting to see that there is a lot of stalls selling everything you need for your nativity scenes. There are even stalls that only sell grass. Look at that stall. Look at the corn. It's so interesting. You definitely need to go to the market in this month of the year because you are going to find different sizes of animals, the baby Jesus in different sizes, shapes and colors, beautiful houses, every detail. It's so amazing. I mentioned piñatas are an important element in a posada. These beautiful, colorful and round things that have seven points usually and children and adults beat, not only on Christmas, but on birthday parties as well. But what does a piñata represent? The Christmas piñatas are kind of balls with seven points on them, which represent the seven deadly sins. Hitting a piñata means we are fighting sins and the candies that are inside represent the reward for fighting sins. Probably you've seen that the people also cover their eyes when they hit a piñata. That represents the faith, the blind faith. So piñatas is not a children thing. We as adults have fun as well. And if you are in a lot of stress, that's a good way to fight stress. Try it. Of course, nowadays we have different shapes of piñatas. We have the typical ones, beer, even whiskey. What do we do on Christmas then? Of course, Christmas is super important, but actually the day we celebrate is the 24th of December. The main dinner happens in that day, and it happens after nine at night. Some people eat at 11 at night, or even 12 a.m. on the 25th of December. This is, of course, a huge celebration. There are people that don't sleep that day. They are crazy. I can't do that anymore. So what do we do on the 25th of December? Well, the 25th of December is a day to rest. It's a holiday. A lot of people don't go to work that day and businesses, shops, stores are closed. There are a lot of restaurants that are closed too. That's a day to spend time with family and probably recovering from all the dreams that you had the previous day. We also do another thing that it's called recalentado. Recalentado means that the family gathers together and eat all the food, all the leftovers of the previous day. It's like another mini party, but another quiet party because a lot of people are hungover. The 26th of November doesn't have a meaning for us. People go back to work and start getting ready to have a big celebration for New Year's Eve. Just a quick announcement to thank all my patrons who are supporting this channel. Thank you very much, guys, for believe in this channel. I'm super excited to show you more content the next year. If you are enjoying this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and the parties don't end there. We also have Dia de Reyes on January 6th, remember? I think Dia de Reyes Magos and New Year's Eve deserve another video. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make another video. Actually, I'm thinking about making another video, so I'm going to do it anyway. I want to tell you something very, very important that we Mexicans do. I want to tell you about a challenge, a marathon that we Mexicans do starting from December 12th to January 6th. Maybe you are doing this marathon as well and you don't know that it's a traditional thing we do here in Mexico. It's called Guadalupe Reyes and it's not athletic at all. Marathon Guadalupe Reyes, it's about enjoying having parties, eating, drink as you want, starting from December 12th to January 6th. It's called Guadalupe Reyes because Guadalupe, the day of the Virgin of Guadalupe, and Reyes because of the day of Day of the Reyes Magos. This is a huge challenge, at least for me, because you have to party every day. And for a lot of people, this also means that you have to drink alcohol every day, starting from the 12th of December to January 6th. Probably you are doing this challenge and you didn't know you were doing a cultural thing.
I think I'm going to see you after Christmas. So I just going to say Merry Christmas, guys. I hope you have an amazing day with your family, friends, with everybody. I wish you a lot of happiness, guys. I'm very thankful for all the people that I met this year, all the people that I met through YouTube. Thank you very much, guys. I think this is everything for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm very excited to see all the decorations in Queretaro in this city. It's super beautiful. I'm going to be showing you some. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next video.